Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading. It will be for April 2021 for the sign of Leo. And remember these are mainly messages or advice Leo. Okay, so what do we have for Leo please? Angel Spirits Guides. And it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you. Okay, message for Leo. I'm going to pull a few cards, a few oracle cards and then... We will go into the tarot cards for specific advice. Okay, first card, Leo. Not always easy. Be patient. <laughs> That's patient with yourself as well as things going on in your surroundings. Message for Leo, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Leos. April 2021. What does Leo need to hear? Thank you. Thank you. Felt Yeah. I've got self-love. Now is the time to love, nurture and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows from and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind and soul. Yeah, and there's an energy of just self-love. Okay. Message for Leo, please, for April 2021. What does Leo need to hear the most? Thank you. From Spirit. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, 23, lead the way, light your own path. This is the illumination comes from you. You know, the light isn't, is, you know, it's almost kind of like you're being watched over by spirit angels guides with that star. But the light is coming from you. You know, you are the light. I mean, you are one of the lights of the zodiac. You know, the sun is your ruler. Um, but there's definitely an energy here, Leo, Leo, that you will have an opportunity or April is an opportunity to lead the way, find direction, carve out your own path. It, it feels like you have everything that you need here from within. Okay. Message for Leo, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Leos. Thank you. Okay, so I have... It's interesting, I've got the deer. <laughs> Trust in the support of the universe. Archangels, Michael and Faith. A lot of deer energy and stag energy there. Um, yeah. Very beautiful indeed. Okay, Leo, so I'm going to pull three cards. Let's see what we get for you for the month of April 2021. What is the message from Spirit for Leo, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Leo from Spirit. Oh, that turned over. I'm just going to take the one that turned up. Knight of Swords. That's the message of Spirit. What it pertains to is the chariot. <laughs> Love it. Any other advice? We have temperance, be patient. Yeah. And the Eight of Cups. I'm going to get one for this Eight of Cups. Let's just get a card for this Eight of Cups. Seven of Swords. Okay, Leo. News, information that brings change. So this Knight of Swords is the communication energy of news, information, conversations that are bringing change this month. And that's what Spirit is telling you. On whatever level this resonates for you, Leo, yeah, there's progress. There is finding direction. Um, there is positive change here. Yeah, because what it's associated with this Knight of Swords is victory and success. And the chariot is 
an energy of pulling the reins of your life into balance and charging towards victory and success. It takes willpower, it takes a lot of action, a lot of perseverance, a lot of taking control as well and determination, but definitely an energy of, yeah, you're going to find your direction and not only find the direction, but claim some success this month. Um, it feels very, very beautiful. Overcome any obstacle that stands in your way. You know, the chariot will just charge straight through it. it. It feels very, very beautiful indeed. The temperance card, again, this can be about getting balanced back, but it's also a card of patience. So be patient with yourself. Be patient with your external situation. You will carve your own path this month. You will light the way. So the Seven of Swords is an interesting one because Seven of Swords, you know, it's a card of acting strategically. So on the negative side, this can be about self-sabotage, um, how we, you know, it, can be a card, it can be a card of holding ourselves back. It can be a card of doing things under the radar, uh, keeping things close to ourselves to achieve a specific goal. And we do that for whatever reason. So in... In the negative sense, this can be about stealing. This can be to do with deception, lack of truth, um, not all not being what it seems. So if some of you might have been dealing with that, Leo. Um, on the positive side, it's, it's just how some of us, you know, just have to keep things to ourselves. Um, because, for example, if you were going for a new job, you don't want your current place of work to find out. So you act strategically. You keep things to yourself. But there's definitely an energy of what this is doing is allowing you to move on from disappointment. Whatever this disappointment was, you will overcome it this month. And there's some positive news coming your way. It definitely feels like some conversation, communication, news is coming your way that is bringing in positive change and a victory. A victory over what has challenged you. So it feels very beautiful here. Yes, this can also be about self-sabotage, but I'm not really feeling that too much, Leo. I'm feeling more to do with... Um, it's interesting because that, that moved a moment ago and the King of Swords was underneath, which can be a card of strategy. So it, it feels more in this situation that you've been doing something underneath the surface, keeping something to yourself, not wanting others to find out because you have a, you're acting strategically. Um, and because the result of this is going to be some kind of victory, success coming your way. Um, it, it feels very beautiful between these two cards. There is something to do with patience, so there, there may well be delays. Um, but you're definitely moving on from some kind of disappointment. And it feels very, very beautiful. Lovely energy there, Leo. Uh, really positive messages. Okay, final message for Leo, please. Final message for Leo. Okay, thank you. I love that. We have never forget you are loved. Love never dies. Isn't that beautiful? I love this re reading, Leo. It feels like there's going to be some conversation, communication coming your way. You've been acting, you know, keeping something close to your chest until you know you're going to get the goal, get the victory, get the success. And there's definitely an energy of, you might be a little bit frustrated um, because something doesn't pan out very quickly, but nevertheless, the victory is going to come. So just tread that water, stay in your power and trust in the support of the universe because there's definitely an energy of you are claiming some significant victory and success this month as a result of some news conversations message coming your way. Very beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you, Leo, and I will see you next time. Thank you.